Olá a todos e muito obrigado pelo convite. Uh, well, now at the moment I'm based in uh, in the Azores. Uh, I'm working on an expedition uh, shooting blue whales uh, for a web series and an, uh, an article for National Geographic I'm working on. Uh, but my base is Faro, Algarve, um, in the south of Portugal, the sunny south of Portugal. <music> Uh, well, uh, Chimera Visuals is a, is a platform, it's a company, if you want to call it that way. Um, basically, it's a, it's a legal, legal platform that I found so I can uh, spread some dreams, uh, to, to spread some magic from the oceans, to, to passionate the, the, the audience, the, to make people more connected to this uh, silent world that is uh, the, the marine environment. Uh, and basically in Chimera Visuals uh, we do not just uh, documentaries, not just uh, photography, uh, but it's uh, a way of producing um, visual storytelling uh, to uh, make people fall in love uh, with the ocean. <music> uh, yes, quite well. Uh, I was actually... Um, because I, I worked as a marine researcher, uh, as a scientist in the Center of Marine Science of the University of Algarve. And after a couple of years working with science, uh, I was not so happy. Uh, I, I thought I could do more. Uh, so I, I was investing in diving. Diving was becoming more and more my life. In Sagres, actually, where I started diving, uh, Sagres in Algarve in the south of Portugal, and it was a shallow, a shallow dive, five to six meters, and actually it was a night dive. And um, I, I, I took some pictures of this uh, Diplodus vulgaris, the, the Sargo, as we call it in Portuguese, and uh, I f fell in love immediately. Once I, I could, um, you know, capture that moment for eternity, uh, which is the power of photography or uh, video Im imagery, uh, I, I said to myself, okay, I want to explore this world more and more. Uh, and then after a while, uh, I, I moved to the Azores the, 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 to work as a diving uh, center manager. Uh, the best moments I have uh, when I'm uh, filming or photographing in the water is... Uh, when there's the encounter, as we call it. Uh, an encounter is not just a species passing by you and you take a quick picture or do a, a quick video. An encounter is when you have this animal uh, getting interested, uh, getting interesting in, in you and uh, you start eye contacting and uh, it starts studying you as well as you are studying him and he allows you, uh, it allows you to enter in his private world and uh, for me there's no bigger joy than that uh, than having a, a marine species especially marine mammals uh, uh, and big fish like sharks uh, you know we me my friend uh, Zé it's, uh, it's a diver a friend long time friend uh, that I have uh, we were waiting for the sharks offshore and uh, silent the, the boat crew was, uh, of course, a little bit uh, preoccupied because uh, we never know what can happen. Uh, we were shooting uh, blue sharks. The, the objective was blue sharks. But you can have a mako shark, you can have different kind of sharks that are a little bit faster and can be a bit spooky in this darkness. And uh, I was with Zé and um, the first shark appeared, the second shark appeared, then the third one, then the fourth. And I stopped counting when we had like seven, eight sharks because they would go and come back, go and come back. And you see the shark coming, I would say two meters away from you because that's the, 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 the range of the lightning. So they got to a point that he needed to be on my back holding my tank, so back to back, so we could push the sharks away because they get attracted to your lightning because it's shining. So they, they, they think it's fish or something worth to, to try, you know. So they, sometimes they, they would come with open mouth just because they're like dogs, you know. They don't have hands. They will not, uh, what is this? They go with, with the mouth. But the mouth is full of big teeth. And then I was getting this super cool shot with two sharks. And then the third come. And then four of them start 
being uh, being itchy with each other so it's a, a nice moment to capture how they react when they bump in each other during the night and then there comes this shark that knocked my neck I'm like shit I'm done because with that power uh, and if it's uh, the mouth you have a massive cut you know so the adrenaline is, man it's done and I was checking when I was turning it was just the fin of Zay above of me like kicking my neck <laughs> Photography, especially conservation photography, is showing both ways of the story. The beauty and what's being done in the backstage. Uh, it's not enough to show we have a, a, a nice reindeer in the forest if you don't point the camera to the other side and the loggers are destroying the forest, the habitat for the... the um, uh, the reindeer. Um, so photography here is like a, a very important tool to cover the all the, the all story, uh, showing the best and the worst of what's happening in every kind of story. Mm -hmm.